And finally, to our special segment, Resurgent Africa. Amid reports of coups and crises that dominate the headlines from the continent, we get you positive stories that often get overlooked. Our story today is from Kenya. In the capital city of Nairobi, a clinic is making significant strides in transforming the lives of amputees. By using 3D printing technology, the clinic is able to deliver prosthetic limbs that are tailored to the unique needs of each patient. Through this, the clinic is helping individuals reclaim their independence. Our final report gets you all the details. Humans endure a wide range of painful experiences, from significant events like the death of a loved one or a breakup, to minor setbacks like losing a favorite pen or outgrowing a beloved sweater. Life is never easy. Consider, for example, the lives of those who have lost their limbs. This life-changing experience can have profound physical, emotional and social impacts. Whether it's a hand, foot, arm or leg, losing a limb can leave individuals feeling overwhelmed and uncertain about the future as nothing seems to make sense at that moment. However, with patience, acceptance and the right attitude, many courageous individuals manage to recover from limb loss and learn new ways to live their lives. In Nairobi, Kenya's capital, a clinic called Protea Kenya is helping people without limbs reclaim their lives. They are providing them with prosthetic limbs. They are aiding these individuals in adapting and resuming their daily activities. This clinic is notable for being the first in the country to use 3D printing technology for prosthetic limbs. Dr. Nick, the founder of the company, established it to improve the quality of life for amputees. Comparing between traditional uh, way of making prosthesis and 3D printing, uh, with 3D printing we have significant customization based on the scanning of the patient's limb. This increases comfort uh, for the patient. The second is the time it takes. With 3D printing we can have the prosthetic made within 24 hours. The clinic employs a unique approach to providing prosthetics. They first assess the specific needs of each patient, then they scan the affected area using a phone app. After completing the scans, a 3D model of the prosthetic is created, which is further sent to the 3D printer for the final printing process. Another distinguishing feature of this clinic is the cost of their products. The 3D printed prostheses are more affordable than traditional ones. We get the uh raw material are from uh, polypropylene filaments that we import and once we feed it to the 3D printer then it is able to 3D print the socket. Now compared with the traditional uh, socket uh, this 3D printed one is significantly cheaper. Traditional prosthetics cost between $1,600 to $3,500 while 3D printed prosthetics range from $800 to $1,400. The turnaround time is also much quicker with 3D printing. The advantage of 3D printing is that you can quickly produce the prosthesis. The turnaround time is so much reduced. A patient can come and in less than two hours the patient is being trained to walk. We are doing what we call gait training. Um, the disadvantage of this is that sometimes the patient is given a high hope you want to finish it very fast, but the prosthetic user must use the prosthesis for some time so that you can see the pressure tolerable areas and the pressure sensitive areas. The clinic has benefited dozens of people, printing more than 100 prosthetic pieces. Even though I got the previous prosthesis, it was very hectic in that after walking for a bit, I would feel a lot of pain. It is after these struggles that I was then introduced to Prothea, who make prosthetics. When I went there, I found that their prostheses are very flexible, very affordable. They are cheap. They are very good. When I went to Prothea, I called the free knee joint. Uh, and the single multi-axis foot. Uh, the one I was using, the one with the locked knee, I was walking, it was so stiff, and even if I want to walk faster, like the way I'm walking now, it was limiting me to walk faster. 
and uh, at the same time uh, the foot is itself was not flexible compared to this this one is flexible um, I think I'm comfortable and confident working with it for those who can't come to the clinic Prothea provides mobile services reaching out to those in need the innovative work being done at this Nairobi clinic is a beacon of hope and progress for amputees. By combining cutting-edge technology with a compassionate approach, they are transforming lives, hence proving that with the right support and resources, overcoming even the most daunting challenges is possible. First Post reports from the world's second largest continent. Hello, I'm Alison LaGrange. A very warm welcome from Durban, South Africa. We get you the news and the newsmakers from Africa. From elections, to climate change, to innovations and opportunities. As the world's attention shifts, we report from Africa, the heart of the Global South. Join me every weekday live on First Post.